Hello friends, welcome again. Let us study how to get optimal solution of a transportation problem. The method to obtain the optimal solution of a transportation problem is known as MODI method, MODI method. That is the short form of modified distribution method. We have an initial solution of a transportation problem obtained through Vogel's approximation method. Um, I advise you all to first watch our transportation problem video lecture number 7 because in that lecture we have discussed how to obtain initial solution of a transportation problem by one. In that lecture we have already obtained this op uh, initial solution of a transportation problem and the total transportation cost as per the initial solution is rupees 779. Now we want to get optimal solution of the same problem. How to get optimal solution of a transportation problem? There are few steps. The first step is to check the optimality of the initial solution. That means first we check whether the uh, initial solution itself is optimal or not. For that purpose, we have to calculate opportunity cost Dij. To calculate Dij, first we have to write the dummy variables u, i and vj. This is a very important part of MODI method to introduce and to write dummy variables u, i for all the rows and vj for all the columns. How to calculate u, i and vj or how to find the values of u, i and vj. For this purpose we use the relationship cij that is cell cost which is written in each and every cell equals to ui plus vj therefore ui will be cij minus vj and vj will be cij minus ui but to start with we have to write any one value of either ui or vj arbitrarily as zero any one value of ui u1 u2 u3 v1 v2 v3 v4 any of these seven we can write arbitrarily as zero there are no particular rules to write zero in any one cell but i or the teachers like me suggest that it is advisable to take value of any one ui as zero or vj as zero where there are highest number of occupied cells let us count the occupied cells for each row and column in the first row there are two occupied cells in the second row there are two occupied cells in the third row also there are two occupied cells now column, in first row only one, uh, in first column only one, in second column only one, in third column only one. But in the fourth column, all the three are occupied cells. Three out of three. In this case, two out of four, two out of four, two out of four. So the ratio of occupied cells to the total number of cells is highest in case of column D4. So I suggest to take value of V4 as zero. We call this value taken arbitrarily. Now through this formula, we can find out all the values of u and v. Say c v u is equal to c minus v. Let us take relevant c in this cell 1, 4. It is 10. u equals to c minus v. So 10 minus 0 gives us value of u1, 10. Similarly, 60 minus 0 gives us 60. 20 minus 0 gives us 20. Now we have all the three values of u, u1, u2, u3, all three values. On the basis of these three values and 
relevant CIJ value of the occupied cell against all U, we can find out the remaining values of V. But mind well, for this purpose, we can use only occupied cells. Now for this value of V, say V1, we have only one occupied cell. So let us use that cell. Cij is 19, U is 10, V equals to C minus U. So 19 minus 10 gives us value 9. Similarly, for this column V2, only one occupied cell is there. So we have to use Cij of that cell. That is 8, Cij minus Ui, 8 minus 20, so U, V2, value of V2 comes to minus 12, that is 8 minus 20. Now for this column, we have to calculate value of V3. In this column, there is only one occupied cell, that is with Cij, cost of transporting 1 unit 40. Cij minus Ui, 40 minus 60. So V3 comes to minus 20. Now we have all values of U and V. So to start with, we calculated or we found values of U and V with the help of this relationship. U and V are called dummy variables. If we write dummy of any transportation problem, U and V are the dummy variables. That will appear in the dummy of the transportation problem. Now what? The next part is to calculate opportunity cost. It is known as DIJ. For all empty cells. For all empty cells. We have M plus N minus 1. M number of rows 3, N number of columns plus 4 that is 7 minus 1 6, 1 2 3 4 5 6, we have 6 occupied cells so this initial solution is non-degenerate and that's why we are able to check and further to find the optimal solution of this transportation problem. Now we have remaining 6 cells, total there are 3 into 4, 12 cells out of which 6 are occupied. So remaining 6 are empty or unoccupied cells. For all such empty cells we have to calculate opportunity cost Dij by the relationship Dij equals to Cij minus Ui plus Vj. For all empty cells. Now what is the condition? If all Dij values or if opportunity cost of all empty cells are zero or positive, then this solution is optimal one. But if any one or more DIJ values or opportunity cost of empty cells are negative, we have to conclude that this is not an optimal solution. So first let us calculate all DIJ values for S1, D2, D12 will be calculated. The cost C is 30 minus relevant U is 10 plus relevant V is minus 12. So it will be 30 minus 10 minus 12. So it will be 30 minus 2. It comes to 28. More precisely, it is a positive value. Okay. Now what? We will calculate D13. The relevant Cij is 50 minus sign according to formula. Relevant U is 10 plus sign according to formula. Relevant V is minus 20. 50 minus 10 minus 20. 50 minus minus 10. That is 50 plus 10. So the Dij or D13 for this cell comes to positive 60. It is positive, yes, 28, 60, let us calculate this for all empty cells, we have still 4 remaining empty cells, next is D21, 
the relevant C is 70 minus sign according to formula into brackets U relevant is 60 plus sign according to formula and V is 9 70 minus 69 D21 also comes to positive it is 1 now D22 D22 the relevant CIJ value cost is 30 minus sign according to formula into brackets relevant U is 60 plus sign according to formula relevant V is minus 12 30 minus 60 minus 12 30 minus 48 it is minus 18 D22 comes to minus 18 yes D22 that means the opportunity cost of cell 22 or more precisely cell S to D2 is minus 18 so we can say that this initial solution is not optimal solution now what we have to calculate remaining DIJ values because it is not necessary that we every time we find only one negative value there can be two or more negative values of DIJ so let us continue now it is turn off S3D1, D31. The relevant value of C is 40 minus sign according to formula into brackets. Relevant U is 20 plus sign according to formula. Relevant V is 9. So it is 40 minus 29. It is 11 or precisely it is positive. And the last. Now we have to calculate. D33 D33 the relevant C is 70 minus sign according to formula relevant U is 20 plus sign according to formula relevant V is minus 20 so ultimately it is 70 minus 20 minus 20 so it is 70 minus 0 or 70 more precisely it is also positive but now we have calculated all 6 DIJ values or uh, opportunity cost for all empty cells out of which 5 are positive but 1 is negative. What did this negative DIJ value suggest? The negative DIJ value indicates that if we make allocation through modification of this distribution to this cell there will be a saving of rupees 18 per unit so for example if we allocate one cell to this cell the cost will go down by 18 rupees if we allocate two units to this cell the cost will go down by 18 into 236 rupees and so on this is the interpretation of negative DIJ values but as a conclusion of our step 1, we can say that since one DIJ value is negative, we conclude that this initial solution is not optimal. The remaining part we will discuss in the next video lecture. Thank you.